Hey, it's Elizabeth Cast of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to do a keto success story, how someone lost over 100 pounds with a ketogenic diet. Coming up next. Hey, it's Elizabeth Cast of Low Carb, and this is part one of our two-part series in our keto success interview. Make sure you smash that like button, make sure you click subscribe, and check out the end to get your free keto weekly meal plan. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Cass of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to do a keto success interview with my good friend Jordan, and we're going to talk about her amazing 100 plus pound weight loss with the ketogenics diet. Are you guys ready to dive in? No, I am. Let's hit it. So I've got here Jordan. Can you say hi, Jordan? Hi. <laughs> and Jordan has lost 110 pounds through the ketogenic diet. She found me through YouTube, and then I found her through Instagram, and her amazing Instagram handle, I will put that down in the description link below, so you guys can check it out. But Jordan, you have a phenomenal story. Can you tell us a little bit about how much weight you've lost, and how you've, like, just an initial brief of how you've lost? Um, okay, so I've lost 110 pounds through eating keto and intermittent fasting. Yay! Yay! Um, I uh, started in June last year to uh kind of help cure my pcos um and so i found through a lot of research that uh keto plus intermittent fasting is really like the key like hack to your hormones and to really curing that type of disease and so now um here i am 110 pounds lighter <laughs> so amazing yeah amazing and so how did you start because i know a lot of our viewers um, are like me. Like I've had, I've had a horrible relationship with food, and now, thankfully, through keto, my relationship with food has changed. Was your journey like that at all? Are you one of us? <laughs> yes, I am one of you. I um, or one of us. Um, I've always had a bad relationship with food, and um, I always was in the habit of like, if I really wanted to eat something, I would go and hide it and eat it. I would yes. eat it alone, yes. and um, I would eat to kind of make myself fall asleep. Sometimes I would eat to numb any pain that I felt. I would eat to just any emotion I felt I would eat. And that's all I knew what to do was to just eat all the time. And so, I mean, it really got to the point where it, it had, you know, obviously over the years, especially through the time that I was in college, I really put on a lot of weight. Like I gained over a hundred pounds in like three years. Like that's how fast I put the weight on, but that's also around the time that my PCOS was really starting to flare up. Yes. So, um, yeah, uh, my food, uh, relationship with food has actually improved drastically since then. And don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm pretty human. So I still sometimes get the urges to binge or, you know, to do things like that, that got me to where I was, but I know now how to better deal with those things and how to, um, kind of make substitutions where needed to where if I really can't fight the urge to eat, I make sure I eat something that's keto friendly. So amazing. I, I say that's amazing because that's like my life, like that was my yeah. life. Like that, and sometimes if I allow it to go there, that can still be my life. Even with keto yeah. food, I can still engage in binging or falling asleep that way. So like, yeah, not a little bit. Um, um, I went through. A, I I'm currently right now on a thing where I'm not eating any keto baked goods because over the holidays that was actually mm -hmm. a huge trigger for me. Um, really? To have any of the keto baked goods, like I, I think we wanted to make cinnamon rolls at one point. I made keto Oreos. I made these pumpkin cheesecake bars. And I mean, I went all out. Like Thanksgiving to Christmas was like insane. I still lost weight. I don't even know how, but I binged too much. And so since then I'm like, okay, well, I need to get a hold on this. And so right now I am cutting those things out until April 24th, which is my birthday. So. Birthday, soon to be. Yeah. I mean, April birthday as well. We have a what day? On the 18th. 24th. Aries. Taurus. <laughs> oh, are you really? Right yeah. At, right at the comment. So you've lost over a hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. You look to me like you're at goal weight. Yes. That you're where you want to be. Uh, okay. So I started at 290 pounds mm -hmm. and right now I'm at 180 pounds uh -huh. and I've got about 35 more pounds to go until I feel like I'm at goal weight, which would put me at 145 pounds. And, um, I know, would that be like 45? I don't know. 
I can't do math. I want to be at 145 pounds <laughs> to actually be at goal weight. And then, uh, then I feel like I would have officially reached my goal. And if I lose from there, I lose from there, but it's not yeah. anything I'm concerned about at that point. So how did you go from this unhealthy relationship with food to this amazing transformation you've had? Because I'm going to flash, can I show your before and after picture? Yeah. With that um, amazing, inspiring picture, how did you go from that? Like, was there something like one day you just woke up and the strength came? Like, how did that happen? So um, I got married last April, just to kind of give you a backstory. I got married okay. last April. And so then, of course, the next thing you start thinking about is, oh, we want to have kids, you know? Yeah. And so mm -hmm. I yeah. went to my OBGYN mm -hmm. last May to, uh, you know, just to get like a ultrasound thing, just see how everything's working in there. Because, you know, yeah. my, my cycles were very irregular. So I knew something probably wasn't right. But yeah. I wanted to figure out what it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I get emotional talking about this. I'm so sorry. But um, I went in to get this uh, ovarian ultrasound done and I looked up at the monitor while it was happening and I saw my ovaries were inflamed. I mean, they were the size of golf balls and covered in follicles and cysts. And, you know, I know that that's a classic PCOS thing, but that's something that I had lived my life thinking, oh, I have PCOS, but I don't have that kind of PCOS, you know? And so mm -hmm. seeing that on the monitor and seeing exactly where my choices got me to really sobered me up. Like, I mean, like I, after I left that appointment, I cried in my yeah. car for yeah. a long time. And then right after that, I started researching uh, bariatric surgery. Right. Mm -hmm. So yes. I was like, yes. what else can I do? Like, this has to be the answer. Like, you know, I have to lose weight. Like this isn't, this isn't funny anymore, you know? And so uh, I went to a seminar for weight loss surgery and mm -hmm. I'm sitting there and I'm looking around the room and I'm like, I'm 290 pounds, but I'm the smallest person in this room. And that to me had never happened before where yeah. I was the smallest person in the room. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, this can't be the answer. Like this, mm -hmm. this can't be it. And so, um, I started researching everything. I was like, what is the best diet to treat polycystic ovarian syndrome. Like what is the best diet for it? And I came across Dr. Barry's video talking about mm -hmm. PCOS and what diet is best for it. And so after I watched that, it just, something clicked in my head and I was like, that's it. That's what I have to do. And it's been this way ever since. So Dr. Barry, Dr. Kendi Barry. Yep. Wow. I'm actually speaking at his uh, San Antonio conference. Yay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. That's yeah. so exciting. Oh. Yeah. Yay. That's very, very cool. And so from there is when you started. Yes. From that moment. Oh my goodness. That is such a profound, that's amazing. Incredible. Yeah. I feel I I I I I have poly, I have PCOS, so I totally can relate mm -hmm. um to that and the, the healing that keto brings through PCOS that yes. is is incredible. I used to have, um, uh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. I, uh, I used to have probably anywhere from 60 day cycles to maybe 120 day cycles. And now I'm regular every 32 days. Wow. It's like clockwork. Yeah. That's so, so cool. And yay, that's been ever yay, since yay. one on keto. So. Oh my gosh. So walk through, walk us through a typical day. What does a typical, maybe, maybe back when you started and then now with the evolution of where you are now uh, incorporating fasting in. I got so many questions. Let's start back okay. when you first started. What did an average day look like when you first started? Okay, so when I first started, um, meal prepping was big for me. So if mm -hmm. I knew exactly what I was going to eat when I went on break at work, mm -hmm. then I felt better. And I was like, okay, I know I got, you know, something to eat. I know I have it there. I know it's high fat. Mm -hmm. I Usually I would go for something like eggs and avocado mm -hmm. or like eggs, avocado, or like, uh, you know, little like pre-cooked sausages. Yeah. You know, whatever, yeah. anything that was easy that I could just bring to work and just, it was mindless. That was the biggest thing for me. And I'm a chef and I like to cook, but I needed mindless stuff. Yeah. Um, so a normal day for me is I get to work at five 30 in the morning and I don't go on break until nine 30. And so at nine 30, when I first started, I would sit down and that's when I would have my first meal. Yes. So mm -hmm. I would eat then. And then, uh, I got off at two o'clock. And then when I got home, probably around three o'clock or so, I would have another small snack and then I would have dinner. And 
throughout the course of that, probably like a couple of months. That's what I did for a couple of months just to like really get myself into it. Yeah. And even with that, I was beginning fasting because yeah. that's when I really started to understand. I'm like, oh, okay. So when I am done eating at the end of the day, until the time I eat again, I've gone like 14, 16 hours sometimes. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. But that's something that I would never think about, you know? Right. Um, and now I'm a hardcore faster. So, um, yay. yay. I just saw your 48 hour fast video, by the way. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so now I go to work and I don't eat at nine 30. Mm -hmm. I don't eat anything until after I get home around three o'clock, I'll have a small snack. Usually I'll have like a little bit of cheese and meat and stuff. I'm very all about like whole foods. Like I don't like really prepackaged stuff very much unless it's Epic brand pork rinds or Tillamook uh, sugar-free beef jerky. Mm -hmm. Those are my two favorite. Those are the two that I'm like, yes, eat it all. <laughs> but um, put these down in the description link below too for people. Yeah. Um, so I'll eat a small snack when I get home from work and then I'll eat a really big dinner. So I, I guess you could say that I kind of do OMAD but mm -hmm. I do it in my own way so that, cause I'll, I'll feel kind of sick if I eat too much in one sitting. So that's why I break it up, yeah. you know? So I eat something a few hours before we have our big dinner, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's basically what I do now. I basically just cut out the nine thirty meal and mm -hmm. then that's it. So. Awesome. And so what does a meal look like? We can see you on Instagram. And again, I'll link your description mm -hmm. uh, below for your Instagram handle. Um, what's a typical meal like for you? What would you prepare? So I think this is where a lot of people get confused with me yeah. specifically because mm -hmm. I do only really eat one meal a day. Yeah. Now, not every day. Sometimes I give myself a little break here and there, but a meal for me is, let's just say, uh, two ounces of cheese and two eggs. And then I'll have about eight or nine ounces of 80, 20 ground beef. Mm -hmm. And then usually I'll throw in about half of an avocado in there somewhere too. And maybe a little bit of sour cream. That to me is the best meal ever because it's easy. I get my protein and I get my fats in and it's very low carb. Yes. Yes. Yep. So having that, I have to ask this because I, think yes. I have experience, strength and hope in this is you have that with the OMAD and you're doing your one meal or sometimes two. Do you have a kick? Do you have like a pendulum swing on the other side from that? Where has your body just gotten used to it? And now you're like, no, this is the way I live. Like there's no kickback at all. Was there ever? There's kickback? no kickback. There's no kickback. But what I, and what I kind of alluded to earlier is that, um, so, okay, so with my work, I'm off every other weekend. Mm -hmm. And so on that weekend that I'm off, I'll give myself one day to wake up and have breakfast mm -hmm. if I want to have breakfast. And then, yeah. you know, but I don't really eat in between breakfast and dinner, yeah. you know, so I'm still technically doing a lot of fasting even then. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's just become such a natural yes. part of my life. I mean, yeah. I feel so much better. The mental clarity, I mean, is just yeah. insane. I used to have this fog like all around my head. It felt like sometimes. So yeah, there's no kickback. You are so inspiring. So do you <laughs> work out? Do you lift? Do you work out any sort of workout regimen? Uh, people are going to hate me, but no, I do not <laughs> actively go to the gym and work out at all. Mm -hmm. But I will say I do walk 30 miles a week with my job. Wow. So I walk about five miles a day, five days a week with my job. Oh, my goodness. So, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And so you have yeah. an amazing husband and you have an awesome dog or dogs? Dog, just one dog. dog. Love it. Love yeah. it. Um, what's your dog's name? Stark. Stark. Love it. Right, so, yeah. your husband and Star, how have they adapted with this lifestyle change? Are they on board? Have they been helpful or have they sabotaged? Like, is it helpful? <laughs> well, is. Stark loves it because <laughs> we eat a lot of meat now. And yes. Steven, my husband, he actually switched over to keto right before Christmas. And he's wow. lost 20 pounds. Wow. And he, he's lost 20 pounds since Amazing. maybe about a week before Christmas. So that's awesome. That's yeah. very cool. So is he, yeah. he's fully on board then because he's keto winning along too. He's fully on board. I just made him dinner and I made a pot roast earlier today and I made him like six eggs with it and half an avocado and all of that. Oh, he's, he's very full, but yeah. Love it. Love it. Love mm -hmm. it. Love it. Okay. 
Hey guys, if you are loving this video, make sure you smash the like button, make sure you click subscribe and check out part two in the description link below for the next episode that will be coming out shortly. If you want your free weekly keto meal plan, make sure you sign up using the description link below and we'll check out check you out in part two coming up next.